Tuscaloosa County man is arrested for making terroristic threats. His wife is also facing charges of obstruction of a law enforcement officer. The arrest comes after an all-day standoff involving several different agencies, including the FBI. News Channel 9's Betsy Golden joins us now with more. Betsy. Well, Kim and Calvin, Catoosa County police say David Groom called police making threats, adding that his house is close to Lakeview Middle School, prompting a lockdown at the school. Residents in a Catoosa County neighborhood were focused on one thing. Police hiding behind trees with rifles and stuff like that. FBI agents, Georgia State Patrol, Catoosa County Sheriff's officers, and Fort Oglethorpe police officers patrolling their streets Wednesday, watching as authorities negotiated with 49-year-old David Groom. According to police, Groom called 911, threatening to kill himself. And then I was standing out on my front porch, and I heard him hollering from the house that he would kill anybody that would that approached his house. He did have a weapon. He had a long rifle and a pistol and he did threaten the officers that if they came on his property that he would shoot them. Is it? Officers spent hours trying to talk Groom and another woman to come out of the house. The Grooms did, did decide to surrender to law enforcement peacefully and currently he's being uh, booked into the Catoosa County Jail for two counts of terroristic threats. Several neighbors say this isn't the first time police have been to Groom's home. Yeah, there's always cops up there. There was um, police was up there, as a matter of fact, yesterday. He appears to have some mental issues he needs to address and probably needs to get some help. But I'm hoping that the police can, can get this resolved and get him what he needs. Sheriff Sisk says he's unaware of any mental issues at this time, but says David will be evaluated. And now Sisk added that the FBI was involved because Grooms has a military background. He is still in custody. His wife, Melanie, has been released on bond. And now Lakeview Middle School was placed on a soft lockdown, and that means no one could leave the building, but activities went on as normal to ensure that all of the students were safe. Calvin. Thanks, Betsy.